Hey guys, this is James, aka I Got Killed with Bad Decisions, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you guys how I work with uh, Shadowplay and Adobe Premiere. They don't tend to get along, and uh, I have a workaround that I haven't really seen online uh, so much, and I just wanted to, to demonstrate that. So this applies to Windows 8 and Windows 10. People, uh, users that are using Shadowplay and trying to, to import their footage into Premiere. So uh, the big issue is that your your footage will desync. So Shadowplay doesn't record in a constant bitrate format. So what ends up happening is you have a video file that isn't constant bitrate. And once you start moving past 15 minutes of footage or so, your your content, it your, your file will desync. So your audio and video won't match anymore. So as an example here, I've loaded this clip into Premiere here. This is a 29 gig file, uh, and it's about an hour and a half long, I believe. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so we're about an hour and a half long. So if we were to skip near the end of this clip, and I were to hit play, what we're seeing and hearing, they don't match. Here, I'll just stop this background music. And wow, so at this point, like, th there's there's no audio at all anymore. So if we were to come down earlier in the video, see, you'll see that we have audio here. So as you can see, the audio is completely cut out by the 40 minute mark. We have no audio at all, so it's it's not only out of sync, it's just non-existent. The, the audio is completely gone from my clip. Now, if I were to actually check out this clip on my PC, like if we were to play this in VLC, for example, you'll see there's audio the whole way through. The the audio's there the whole way. It's not actually disappearing. But with Premiere, we're completely messed up by the end of it. So what we would want to do is we, we can't work with the clip that way. So what we got to do is we need to split it up. So if I open this clip up in AVI Demux, and this is a free program, I'll link to it. Just drag our clip in there. You can also just do File Open or, or click on the Open folder. Up to you. Again, it's it's Windows. There's a lot of ways to do things. Now. We have our whole clip loaded up, and what we're going to do is we're basically just going to cut it down into 15 minute blocks. I find that's the, the best way uh, to make sure that it won't desync. So if I were to go, so what we want to do basically is split it up into 15 minute chunks, and we don't want to transcode it or re-encode it. We don't want any sort of, of quality loss, and uh, we don't want to spend the time re-encoding everything, which can take a long time. So what we would do is we're going to choose MP4 V2 Muxer, okay? And we're doing that because right now this is an MP4 file, so we want to we want to keep the container the same, so it doesn't have to change that format or re-encode it or do anything like that. So we're going to leave our video output as copy, so it's just going to copy the exact settings for this video file. It's not going to change them, and same thing for the audio. It's just going to make a, a copy of that. We're going to set it to MP4 V2 Muxer like we already have, and now we're just going to create 15-minute chunks. So you would just take this drag this over until we're 15 minutes in and you can see our time down here so we have an hour and 32 minutes total and we're just going to move into 15 minutes like that so now we're 15 minutes it doesn't have to be exact so you can just do 15 like that we'll set our end frame or end point right there and then we'll just save the clip so we can save it i already have a few examples here so gta1 gta2 so we would just save that as gta1 hit save and it'll save it out. It takes a couple minutes. It's a lot faster than transcoding the whole the whole thing. And then if we're ready to create our second clip, we would just click on the entry point. Now, I find that clicking it one time doesn't set it. It just removes it. So you'd want to click it at least twice. I just click it a whole bunch. And then that's it. You can start dragging up. So we'd move it to around 30 minutes in, set another end point. And then we'd save that as our second clip and just keep on trucking that way. So then we'd set a new end point, move it up to 45 minutes and you get the idea. Set another endpoint, save that clip, and just keep processing through the clip that way. So you'll end up with, uh, for about like an hour and 30 minutes, you might have like, let's say, eight or nine clips, right? 15 minute chunks. Then inside Premiere, you would just take those clips. So you would just browse over to wherever you have your clips uh, that are already separated, and you would just import those into your timeline. So in my case, uh, I put most of our projects in the same folders. I have a whole bunch of our, our stuff that we use for the channel right here. So if I were to take GTA, I could take these three clips, as many as I wanted to work with. I tend to drag everything that I'm going to, to work with into my timeline all at once, and you can just drag them on like that. And that's it. You're, you're good to go. So once again, it'll conform your clips. 
And when it's done with that, you can uh, you can move through them. You could have five hours of footage this way if you wanted. There won't be any any sync issues. Everything will be perfectly in sync because it has no issues handling about 15 minutes worth of shadow play footage at a time, regardless of where it came from the initial clip. So that's uh, that's the easiest way around it I find and quickest way around it. Now, another thing that this allows you to do is in your file, if you only needed a clip from the middle section, rather than having to transcode the whole thing using something like Handbrake, just so you can then import it and cut out that one segment, you can just do that right now. So you could choose, like if I only needed, say, a segment from here, say I only needed five minutes, and you'll notice, I only hit that one time. It didn't actually, it didn't set a new endpoint. So we'd want to hit it again. That sets my endpoint here. Drag it out. So if I only needed that much footage, I could set my endpoint save that out, and there you go. So I, I have just the little segment of the clip that I need. I can bring that out, throw that into Premiere, and I'm good to go. I'm good to start working with it right away. So as you can see, my footage is done being scrubbed. Uh, this is about 45 minutes of footage, which is uh, around or past where we had no audio before. And if we were to go there now, you can see we still have audio, and everything is perfectly hobby. in sync. And there oh, you go. You so all that is still perfectly synced up. And uh, I, I think that clips from an upcoming uh, video that isn't out yet that I already have processed and, and done, so that'll probably be coming out later. But uh, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. So it's a, a quick and easy way around having to transcode it using something like Handbrake, uh, which can take a lot longer. Now, unfortunately, it only applies to Windows 8 and 10. With Windows 7, you're going to end up with those 3.8 gigabyte files, and there's no real way around it that I could find other than just transcoding it. So. For something like that, you would use Handbrake. There's lots of tutorials online on, on how to find it. And uh, I'll also link up to where to get AVI DMUX. So uh, this is the site here. It's just avidmux.sourceforge.net. You'd go into Downloads. And uh, I'm a Windows user, so you'll see here we have our 32-bit and 64-bit version. You would just match that to whatever version of Windows you have. Typically, nowadays, it'll be 64-bit. It's, it's a lot more rare to see 32-bit uh, versions of Windows, but you know, it, it could happen, but if you're doing video editing, more than likely you're going to be running 64-bit. So you would just go ahead and, and click on this and just go download it that way. And there you go. Files downloaded, ready to go. And again, it's uh, it's a free program, and it, you know, hopefully this will save you some time. Uh, if you like this video, leave us a like, leave us a comment, let us know why you liked it, why you didn't like it. I know this is a little bit out of the ordinary for our channel, but uh, like I said, I figured it might save some people some time. So I wanted to put this out there and uh, hopefully help someone out. Thanks.